Yes. Hello, friends. If you are a fantasy nerd like me, then you'll probably love Lord of the Rings. In my case, that means I've rewatched the movies multiple times and I absolutely love this franchise. So when I saw that Magical Suitcase had a box all about Lord of the Rings, I just had to buy it. I was pretty surprised when it arrived because it is not one, but two boxes, which means there's a big item that didn't fit in the initial box. So I am really excited to see what it is. And if you like these kind of videos, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Let's get unboxing. In case you wanted to check out Magical Suitcase, that is no longer possible because they have currently stopped doing their English boxes. Because of all the world changes and also Brexit, it was no longer profitable at the moment to do English boxes. One of the owners did tell me that they are working on it, so they want to do English boxes in the near future, but at this moment, they can't promise anything. That really sucks because I enjoy the boxes from Magical Suitcase, but who knows, in the near future. That also means that my discount code no longer works, so keep that in mind. Let's take our first look into these boxes. So the first box, oh my gosh, what is this? Is this a clock? And the second box has some gold tissue paper and beneath that a Funko Pop and some more items. Before we dive into these boxes, a big thank you to my patrons. You really help me keep this channel running. And if you feel like it is something for you because we have exclusive videos, polls, posts, it's really fun. Come join us. Just head over to patreon.com and type in my name, Leanna Brooks, or click on the link in my description. Okay, let's do this. I just need to know what's inside this box. So let's go for this one first. Oh, no way. You guys, this is insane. What is this? Is it, is it like a cupboard to hang your keys? Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. This is honestly one of the coolest items. I've ever gotten in a box. That's brilliant to have a door to one of the Hobbit houses and then when you open it, it's a place to hang your keys. That's brilliant. That's brilliant because it's your home. I mean, don't we all want to live in one of the Hobbit houses at the Shire? And I love that they added some green because that really adds to the effect and it's just done really well. And they even made two holes at the back so you can easily put it up. Let's go for the next box. And of course, I'm gonna go for the Funko Pop first. We have got the Dun Harrow King, the Lord of the Rings Pop Movies Edition number 633. And at the back, you can see the other pops in this collection. So this is basically the King of the Dead and he manifests himself in the third movie, The Return of the King. I think the location is called The Path of the Dead. I don't know how he appears in the books because I'm one of those people that has only watched the movies and didn't read the books. But in the movies, he's definitely a creepy character. There's loads of detail on the crown and he is holding his sword. And there's even detail on his cape. I already have the Legolas pop, so this is a really great addition. Let's go for a small box. What is this? That is genius. <laughs> it's foot bath salts. Hobbits feed as free as ever. Legolas scent and Gondor's protection system. <laughs> On the label, we can even see two feet. They don't really look like hobbit feet, but still we get the gist. So is there actually a thing called foot bath salt or is it just made for the box? I'm not really a fan of the smell. It smells really sweet, a little bit like strawberry, but at least your hobbit feet will smell nice. Next up is this bundle and it looks like a tote bag. Oh, I love that. That is awesome. I love the combination of black and gold. We can see some Elvis language in the shape of a ring and then the sword and the reel. And at the bottom, it says magical suitcase. That's a great tote bag and I'm definitely going to get some use out of this. And there's something inside the tote bag. So is this a t-shirt maybe? It's a short sleeve t-shirt. Whoa, that's a busy print. What do we have? Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, that is based on the Knight Riders. Uh, what were they called? The nine humans that were given a ring. The Nazgul, the ring rates. So those were the nine men. And the t-shirt says nine for mortal men, 
doomed to die. I mean, it's a pretty geeky shirt, but I'm here for it. Because the Nine play a pretty big part in the movie, so it's awesome to have a shirt of the Nine. And beneath the t-shirt is some tea with a beautiful label that says Mordor Fun Run. And the ingredients are Moringa, Ginger, Lemon Peel, Lemongrass, Orange Peel, and Lyophilized Raspberries. It sounds like a tea I'm gonna love, and they always use natural ingredients. There is a paper item in this box and I think it is a map. Yes, it is the map as seen in the books, the west of Middle Earth. We can see the Shire, Gondor, Rohan and of course Mordor. It's high quality and the paper is pretty thick so it's perfect to put up somewhere. There's another brown box so let's go for this one and inside, is it a candle? Ooh, on the label we can see Gandalf with his staff and the ingredients are dark, fire, fight, sacrifice. That is such an iconic moment. You, you shall, shall not, not pass. In the first movie, this is the moment that Gandalf is standing on the bridge and he is about to battle Balrog. Oh, this candle smells amazing. <laughs> it smells really natural. And this candle has a wooden wick, which is perfect because they make this nice crackling sound and the candle burns evenly. And then for the final item in this box, and I've already seen what it is, it is a coloring book of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And this one is based on the movies. As you can see, this one is in Polis, but that doesn't really matter because a coloring book doesn't have a lot of text. I've spoken too soon, this one does. It actually has a lot of text. <laughs> the text is next to character, so it has their name and then probably a quote from them. So that's a shame, but still a nice item with a lot of beautiful pages. Am I gonna use this? Probably not. Lately, Magical Suitcase has put a lot of coloring books in their boxes. It's something you really have to make time for, and I know that it's not for everyone. So I would have preferred this to be a different item, but I do appreciate that this is an official item. That was everything in the Lord of the Rings box. We got a total of nine items, and I really love that they went with a mix of licensed items and handmade items. Overall thoughts on this box, Brilliant. I thought this was an amazing box. It's so hard to do a good Lord of the Rings box. I mean, almost every item is a favorite of mine, but of course my absolute favorite is this Hobbit door, which is actually a cupboard where you can put your keys in. And for my least favorite item, I'm gonna go with the coloring book. Uh, first of all, because it's in Polis, and in this case, there's quite a lot of text in the book. And second of all, I just don't see myself doing this anytime soon. This box just makes me wanna rewatch the movies. Again, I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did as well. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.